This video is going to be over Embase and Embase Classic and the importation into RefWorks. What I wanted to show you about Embase, it is a little different from other databases. What you want to do is put in your first keyword. We're going to go back to our PICO example. We're going to put in breast seed. I'm going to put an asterisk at the end of this to indicate breastfeed or breastfeeding and press search. Did an earlier search. I'm going to go ahead and delete the first one. Okay. And then to perform your second search, you go back to search. We're going to put in contraception. And we can just choose this example they have here. Press search. And then we're going to do another search. Okay, now to combine these, all you have to do is click here, and we're going to combine using AND. And as you can see, we have 65 results. You can refine your search here based on journal title, publication type, or publication year. As you can see, you can keep expanding it. If you want to limit to 2010 from 2001, you can apply that limit there. And as you can see, these are your results. Now, if you recall correctly, I explained that this is just an indexing database, so you won't be able to view the full text here. But if you expand here, you can see the abstract. And you can search for the journal through the library catalog. All you'll have to do is copy this journal title. Go into our website, go to Research and Tools, Catalog. Under Index, click Journal Name Begins With. And we do have this journal. Now we just want to ensure that we have that date, 2010. And as you can see, we have it right here through Springer Link Contemporary. And for exporting into RefWorks, unlike EBSCO, Embase and a few other databases has the ability to export multiple citations. Just click the documents you want. I'm going to select three for now. Click Export. Here's where you choose your type of export. We're going to go to RefWorks direct export, click export, and then submit to RefWorks. And there's our three titles. I'm going to go ahead and put that into a folder. And that's it.